Hey everybody, um, so I'm going to work on uh, painting my leather jacket. This is a jacket that I bought off of uh, eBay, and it's real leather. I know that because I fixed uh, one of these sleeves and opened it up a little bit where the hem was. Anyways, it's like a lambskin leather. And, uh, yeah, the sleeves are a little bit tight on me to begin with, so I just opened that up. I don't know if you can see where that seam is. But give it a little bit more space in the arms. So it's a better fit. I like it, because originally I was going to sell it. Anyway, so I've already started, uh, I just wanted, I don't know if you can see that. You see how it's kind of speckled, so it looks a little bit, a little bit worn, so the red you see a little bit of black underneath there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that pocket. I just want like a few little red parts here and there just to kind of make it pop a bit. So I'm going to, hopefully you can see this on the camera. There's a kind of a patch right here. So I'm going to make that stripe red. And this stripe red and same with the other arm so that one there and that one and then uh, yeah it's all gonna be kind of the same effect that you see going on with that pocket and then what else am I gonna do I'm gonna try to do the inside just the inside of this sleeve just uh, not too much red here and there, just enough to give it a little character. But uh, this might be a little tricky because that zipper might get in the way. But anyways, so I'll show you how I plan to do this. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope it's showing up on the camera. Looks pretty good. I just had a look. Alright, so... Um, so I got this, this is a uh, kind of a filter type sponge. And what that's going to allow me to do is, uh, oh, wait a minute. I should probably mask everything off first. Okay, so I got some masking tape. But yeah, what this sponge is going to allow me to do is uh, I'm going to use some white paint. Uh, let's see if I can find the bottle. Yeah, this Angelus. Um, oops, there we go. That's uh, Angelus leather paint, paint for leather. So I'm going to use that. And uh, the sponge, which uh, that's going to hit in certain areas and then leave some areas black. And then I'm going to paint over the whole thing with red so that you can see a little bit of um, black spots underneath in between there. So, like I said, I have to mask everything off. And I hope this uh, doesn't allow... I don't have any black leather paint in order to touch anything up so I hope that this masking tape does a trick and nothing gets underneath in areas that I don't want to paint.
All right, so hopefully that works and uh, got everything masked off now. So I'm just gonna take the sponge and a little bit of white paint and sponge everything on in those spots. All right, so I'm just gonna take the hair dryer, dry it. Okay, and now I'm going to use some of this uh, sc Scarlet Red Angelus paint. It's kind of a dark red and uh, just a regular paintbrush. Um, it will wash away. It is water soluble so you can wash your, your uh, brush off. But um, once everything sets, then it, it won't wash off on your jacket. All right, so now I'm just gonna do even strokes on uh, on that sleeve. Okay, this one over here, so don't spill the paint. We'll probably give that uh, two coats. I might end from the edges. All right, so there's one. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to use the hair dryer again. All right, and one more time with the paint. There we go. And now dry again. Okay, now I'll try opening this or peeling this off and see how it looks.
Not too bad. Looks like uh, I missed the spot right here with the tape. And then up there in that corner. But I didn't want to get any areas in here. So I can easily touch that up. And hopefully that'll... That'll... Uh, you won't see any line or anything right there. So... Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. Just a couple of spots where I paint one over the edge. Might be able to touch that up with a sharpie or something. So I'm just trying to touch up this area. is uh, before you paint your surface that you're wanting to paint, uh, make sure that you wipe everything down really well with a white cloth so that there's no dirt and dust and everything on there. All right, that's not too bad. And there you go. That's how to uh, paint your jacket. So like I said, you got to let it wait um, uh, like a day, at least a day in order to, before you wear it. So, I'm going to continue to paint that spot between the sleeves and uh, the other arm and then I'll put it on and show you how it turned out. Alright so here's the jacket. I got the lines on the sleeves done and uh, that side, the pocket on the inside and the little bits underneath the cuffs. So I just ended up uh, masking that off where the zipper was. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna wear this too much because it's still, uh, Still needs time. It's still a little bit tacky, so it needs time to cure. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna add anything else, any more red to it at all. I think that's. I think less is more. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, so it's Angelus paint uh, for leather, and it works really well. I'm not a, uh, they're not a sponsor or anything, but, you know, just if you're going to do any kind of um, DIY projects, then, uh, yeah, that's, that's what you're going to need for leather, for sure. And it won't chip or wash off or anything. So, yeah. All right, so like and subscribe, and... Uh, yeah, you know, I hope that helps if you're doing uh, any leather work. Take care.